Jacob. People ask me all the time, what size belt grinder do you use? I say, a three foot. And they say, oh wow, only a three foot long belt? No, three foot wide. That should be like a beer commercial. <laughs> Hey, welcome back everyone. Part two, rough grinding, heat treating the chef's knives. Apologies if we look a little bit tired. It is like 11.30 at night right now. Part one was filmed last night, 1.30 a.m. So we're running on fumes here. After two days of production, we're filming after our production so we don't get behind on order. So we're a little worn out. We're on second shift. I'm on, I'm on third shift right now, actually. Uh, so it's time to rough grind this knife. First step is gonna be profile grinding. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Okay, so we're doing a chef's knife which has primarily all long flat surfaces in the profile. Well, they're curved, but what I mean by flat surfaces is that you can get it on a long flat plat and it's not a recurve blade. If it was a recurve blade, you'd have to use a contact wheel to get the profile. And we are gonna to have to use a contact wheel to get inside this radius, but everything else is flat on this platen. So I'm just trying to keep this 90 degrees so our spine isn't being ground at an angle and uh, keep a lot of contact on the platen lengthwise so that you avoid any dips or dishes. to decide whether or not you want to drop it down here or curve it up here. But you don't want to round anything over, roll, make anything lumpy. You want it nice, even curve. So I think that I'm going to go with taking that tip away by grinding this up rather than down. I'm gonna take a little bit of material out of this spot. I'm gonna take a little bit of material out of this spot because I don't like the way how it's very gradual taper and then kind of lumps down really quick. I wanna make this more of a gradual line. These are really small changes that overall affect the way that you look at the knife. Just that slight bit changes. It makes the knife look more long. It makes it look more elegant rather than having an elegant shape taper blade and then a, a lump tapering down. It's just small things really make it appear to you differently. So that's this section of the blade. I'm going to go ahead and do the handle.
thing I like to do after I think I've got my profile done is just knock the, the edges off of the profile. This actually helps you see the shape of the knife better. Yes, I'm an artist. See how you can see the profile better when you take the edge off? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. You never want this section on the kitchen knife to roll down backwards yeah. because you don't want to have to rock back into your fingers when you're cutting. Mm. Well, you just want to make sure that you're flat, you're either putting even pressure here to here or you're putting a little bit of pressure down when you're grinding that. Too thin? Yeah, this way. That's narrow. Narrow, right. You know that's a pet peeve of mine, getting narrow, thin mixed up, Dad. I do that with the two inch wheel on the bottom, but I get down the eye level with it because if you're not paying attention, this will hit the slack belt. Yeah, you'll grind this or you'll grind this or something. For the camera. Oh, yeah. I, I'm pretty impressed by that. Pretty good. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. All right, now that we've got the actual profile of our knife established, profile of the knives are established. So. With this, I'm going to take a 220 grip belt and a rotary platen slack belt so. 
and convex grind profile of the knife. with intense music. Oh. We done with the grinding? Uh-huh. I'm gonna do it again. And this needs to be a little hotter. All right, we're gonna end part two there. Toss these in the heat treating oven and see you back on a part three of Chad's first kitchen knife build or knife at all build. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna pick back up with some grinding to the blade and drilling holes in the tang, maybe some tapering the tang and getting it ready for uh, knife scales. So that's about it. We'll see you next time.